Sorry to bug you, but are you still using that machine? You're not? Awesome. Then I'm gonna claim it. Oh, I don't mean to be staring, it's just... If you do squats in that form, you're going to wreck your ankles. Can I show you a different way that's going to feel a lot better? See? You have to drive your hips back, and... No, 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 that's not it either. May I touch you? I'm just going to shift your legs a bit. There you go. Try it like that. Much better! Now you're not as unstable. I have to say, that weight looks like it's a little too much for you right now. What is the max weight you can lift? You're not sure? Well, then why don't we just start trying them out? Let's go mid-range. Here, try one bicep curl with this one on your right side. Good. That's good. Okay, let's go with this heavier one on your left. Try it again. And then, what about this one? Okay, this one here. Oh, is that your limit? Okay, make a note of how heavy this is. Don't worry if you think it's low. You'll get stronger the more you work out. What? No, 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 no. You don't work out using your max lift weight every time. You'll seriously hurt yourself. I swear, that's the reason why so many people come in and then get injured right away and say, this fitness thing isn't for me, and then they never come back. It's not about showing off or looking super strong. You should be working out with a weight that is 75% your max. If you want, you can move up to sets with higher weights for less reps, but I think if you have the time to spend, you should just start with slower and lower. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry, dude. Y you can have the machine. I I'm helping my friend here. Oh, let me just grab my towel. <sighs> okay, now, why don't we try those squats again with this weight instead? I'll, I'll even do them with you. Let's do one set of ten reps to get you feeling good. Nope. Hips back. <laughs> I know it feels like you're going to fall, so just plant your feet, okay? One, two, three. See, isn't this weight so much easier? Four, five, six, seven. Don't get sloppy with your form. <laughs> Only a few more, come on. Eight, nine, and ten. Ah. Here, sit down. Take a breather. You did great. Oh, you don't feel good? You just feel sore? Oh, that's my bad. <laughs> Here, drink some water to cool down. You didn't bring any water? Oh, that won't do. I have my own bottle, but you can have one of these unopened mini bottles I keep on my belt. Yeah, I know my bottle is huge. They say you should try to drink between half an ounce and an ounce of water for every pound you weigh every day. But if you're working out and sweating a lot, then you have to take that into account. So I always overshoot. I make sure to put an electrolyte tab in my water, though, just to make sure I'm not doing more harm than good. You should really invest in a reusable bottle if you don't have one. Saves you money. Or you can use any container, really. Have you seen that picture of the girl online who is using an old Hershey's chocolate syrup bottle to hold water in while she's working out? She says people judge her when she drinks out of it, but I think a little silliness in the gym is nice. People come in here with this overly driven mindset, and it starts feeling like a religious sect of meatheads and Instagram girls. 
I feel like I'm going to be crucified just because I'm moonwalking on the treadmill to my music. Oh, you saw that, huh? Yeah, I can get a little into it. But I come here to have a good time and move my body. If working out feels like a chore, then no one is going to do it for long. Not even me. I have to say, you, uh, you look like you're new here. Oh, how did I know? Well, it is the start of a new year. There are always tons of new members with that hopeful look in their eyes, but not a lot of direction. They're all finding machines they like, or signing up for a class, checking out our juice bar, which is awesome, by the way. I love this time of year for that reason. I look around and I really hope that most of them make it, but I know that something like 80% of the resolution crowd drops off by February. I hope you stick with it. Once you find your place in a gym, get a routine going that is manageable. Not like some people who try to commit to coming every single day for two hours, when twice a week for 30 minutes is a fine place to start. And then you maybe take a look at your diet and see how it can improve. It's really not that hard to turn your life around. You should never ever feel ashamed of being a fitness beginner. And even if you're not, you just haven't worked out in a long time. Just do what feels good for you, right? If a class sounds interesting, then take it. Lord knows you've got to get your money's worth out of these steep gym prices. And just tell the instructor that you're inexperienced. They usually have some modifications they can add or they can change the pace for you. Hell, even I take the senior citizen's yoga class myself because I have some old injuries that I have to look out for and the ease of the moves is better for me. No one in there cares that I look out of place. I assure you that everyone is too busy doing their own thing to pay attention to you. And if anyone judges you, then they're an asshole and no one cares about their opinion. I'll tell you a secret. This is actually my first time back in the gym in about six months. Yeah, I know. It wasn't part of some resolution, per se. I just... I used to be a personal trainer. Oh, you could tell, huh? Old habits, I guess. Why did I stop? I had a client, and she had some really ambitious goals. I... I didn't take the time to hook her up with a proper nutritionist. I just thought, hey, I've read a bunch of books on food and stuff. I'm practically a registered dietitian. I ended up giving her some eating advice that, well, she ended up with um, orthorexia. Oh, uh, that's an eating disorder where you are afraid of eating foods that aren't pure enough or healthy, organic enough. She lost too much weight, uh, had to be hospitalized, and I, I felt so bad. I couldn't keep training people. There was too much of a risk that I was going to hurt someone again. So it took me a long time to get up the courage to come back here and get back into the fitness culture because I know how toxic it can be, but I also know it's not all bad. As long as you don't let it become an obsession, then it can enrich your life so much. And on the day when your body can finally do something that it couldn't do before, it really feels worth it. She eventually got better. So can I. Hey, do you want my number? <laughs> oh, oh, your face. I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> just thought we could be each other's accountability partners. You know, cheer each other on, work out together sometimes, help the other focus on their goals. Yeah? Okay, I'll text you then. So, how are you feeling? Ready to get back out there? Awesome. Let's go have some fun, partner.